All right. As you can imagine, a lot of cool things about working on this show. I love working with the Max Weinberg 7. You guys are the best, Max. I love being in the studio every day. This is a great show. We have a lot of fun. But probably the coolest thing about working here at NBC is NBC's amazing satellite dish. Okay? We have an incredible satellite dish. I know some of you are sitting in the audience right now, sitting at home. Well, I got a satellite dish. <laughs> What's that Irish guy talking about? <laughs> Do you think he's so special for? Well, the truth is, this is a very special satellite dish. It's giant. It's massive. It was built by General Electric for billions of dollars. And with it, we can pick up channels from all over the world. Channels I had no idea even existed. So I thought it might be fun to do a little channel surfing right now and share these amazing channels with uh, the audience. Got um, my uh, satellite little program right here. Look at some of these. Now, of course, some of these are channels everybody gets, and then we all get CNN, Very of course. Decorated with the golden arches. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We all get the weather channel right here. San Antonio. There we go. Very nice. Good to see. And those are just channels everyone gets. But then there are some that are quite unusual. I don't know what they are. Like this one right here, Al Jazeera Weather Channel. <laughs> right? We all have the weather channel. But this is the Al Jazeera Weather Channel. Let's check it out. And now we look at this weekend's weather in the Great Satan. Washington, D.C. will be punished with rain and high winds. New York City will reap a bitter harvest of unseasonably low temperatures. And the Jews will cause flash flooding all along I-95. All right, uh, let's check out this other one right here. This is, this is a channel called Mr. T with other things around his neck network. <laughs> Mr. T with other things around his neck network. Let's check it out. Mr. T with other things around his neck. Mr. T with other things around his neck. Christmas lights. <laughs> Sausage. <laughs> Mona Lisa. <laughs> Train track. All aboard, fool. Look at that train go by. <laughs> this one, uh, well, it's topical. It's the uh, Congressman Mark Foley Dream Channel. <laughs> we didn't do it yet. <laughs> Save that bitter rage and disappointment for after we show you the sketch. <laughs> Congressman Mark Foley Dream Channel. Welcome to your new district, Congressman. Page Sylvania. Hi, Congressman. Hi, Congressman Foley. Can we call you Mark? Sir, the president just phoned, and he needs you to watch us do push-ups. <laughs> just got your message, sir. That's really hot. Sir, check out the new congressional page uniforms. <laughs> what do you think? Like before we started the audience, it's like, oh, I don't know, this could be. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, here's a network. It's called Zombie Movies Sitcom Themes. A network called Zombie Movies Sitcom Themes. Check it out. Never enjoyed a zombie movie more. Oh, this one sounds good. Yeah. This one's called Jesus Turning Water into Things Other Than Wine Channel. <laughs> Jesus Turning Water into Things Other Than Wine Channel. What's with Jesus these days? <laughs> I 
And then this one completely confuses me. I don't know what this means. We have to check it out. It's called the Skinny Black Guy with Big Fat Hunky Legs Channel. The Skinny Black Guy with Big Fat Hunky Legs Channel. Now, eagle-eyed viewers of Late Night may recognize... <laughs> You're coming back tomorrow. <laughs> now, eagle-eyed viewers of Late Night may recognize the fat, hunky legs in the last channel from earlier appearances on our show. <laughs> That's right, those foam legs were first used as a grub man costume on May 19th. <laughs> then, on June 29th, it was reused as a surrendering croissant. <laughs> Then on July 11th, we reused the costume again as a victorious cannoli. <laughs> then on July 25th, it was a pissed off kreplach. <laughs> on August 9th, it was a sandy beach rock. <laughs> on August 29th, it was a gift basket to welcome Meredith Vieira to NBC. <laughs> and on September 15th, it was a liposuction Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> now, think about it. <laughs> Folks, this makes a total of eight uses for a costume that costs $65 for a per-use cost of $8.12. Yes, indeed. But, ladies and gentlemen, the more uses we can get out of this costume, the better. So send your ideas to Grubman Costume Ideas here at Late Night, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. As always, if we use your idea on the air, you'll receive this handsome I'm a Conan cost cutter button. <laughs> We're taking